Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about short circuit ratio. Short circuit ratio. Before that, small point here. Under short circuit condition, in general, we have a general formula EMF E is equals to V plus IAZS actually. But when short circuit is there, what is the voltage? The terminal voltage is zero because short circuited voltage is zero. And the IA is taken as short circuit current ISC and synchronous impedance is taken as short circuit impedance. Then, then tell me what is E? E is equals to ISC multiplied with ZSC. ISC is equals to ISC is equals to E upon ZSC. E upon ZSC. Or ZSC is equals to ZSC is equals to E upon ISC. E upon ISC. Now they will ask you a question. If a speed increases, if speed increases, what happened to ZSC? Ultimately, if speed increases, nothing but frequency increases. If frequency increases, nothing but EMF increases. If EMF increases, ultimately ZSC, short circuit impedance also increases here. ZSC directly proportional to EMF and directly proportional to frequency. In generally, if frequency increases, impedance increases. We know that. Now, very, 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 very important. If speed increases, what happened to short circuit current? Tell me. What happened to short circuit current? If speed increases, nothing but frequency increases. When frequency increases, EMF increases and impedance increases. Exactly, EMF increases the same level ZSC increases. If both increases, then ISC is remains constant. ISC is remains constant. There is no changes. Are you getting or not? So, if a speed increases, the short circuit current is constant. There is no changes in short circuit current. This is simply about the short circuit analysis. They asked many times in competitive exams about this question. Okay? Be careful. Right. Let's go for short circuit ratio. Let's go for short circuit ratio. See, what is short circuit ratio? What is short circuit ratio means we have to take a ratio of two currents. That is, for example, for example, take here a graph. This is excitation and this is EMF and the armature current both. First, I am drawing the OCC characteristics. This is OCC characteristics. And next one, short circuit characteristics. And next one, short circuit characteristics. We know, we know, for example, this is the rated voltage. This is the rated voltage. And this current is called IFOC. And if this is the rated current, this current is called IFSC, the short circuit field current, open circuit field current, where this is OCC characteristics, where this is SCC characteristics. Then, what is short circuit ratio? Short circuit ratio is nothing but the field current required to produce Rated voltage on open circuited armature upon the field current required to produce rated current on short circuited armature. The field current required to produce 
rated voltage on open circuited armature and the field current required to produce rated current on short circuited armature simply IFOC upon IFSC is our short circuit ratio. This is our short circuit ratio. Be careful. So, if you calculate and if you derive a derivation, finally you will get the short circuit ratio is inversely proportional to per unit impedance. What is that? Short circuit ratio is inversely proportional to inversely proportional to per unit impedance is very important. They asked the question in competitive exams already. They will ask you a question like that. My per unit impedance is 0.5. Then what is SCR? Tell me what is the answer. 1 by 0.5 is equals to 2 per unit. 2 per unit is the SCR. For example, my SCR is 2 per unit. Then what is per unit impedance? Per unit impedance, they may ask you like that. Whatever they given the question, you have to use this formula. SCR is directly proportional to 1 by per unit impedance or SCR inversely proportional to per unit impedance. This is very important. This is generally. So, they may ask you a question for, for salient pole alternator, salient pole machine or for cylindrical machine, for cylindrical machine or for synchronous condenser, condenser, what are the values of SCR? They will ask you a question like that. So, for synchronous condenser, the value of SCR is 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 per unit. 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 per unit is SCR for synchronous condenser. For cylindrical machine, its value 0 0.6 to 0 0.9 per unit. 0 0.6 to 0 0.9 per unit. For salient pole machine, its value 0 0.9 to 1.5 per unit. The SCR values for different different machines, they will ask you question. If simply they ask you for synchronous motor, for synchronous motor, SCR is equals to, for synchronous motor, if they ask you like that, for synchronous motor, SCR is equal to 0 0.5. Take like that. Otherwise, if they specify like a salient pole, cylindrical, synchronous condenser, then specify the answer like this. Are you okay? Getting or not? This is about SCR. And here, we have some relations for SCR. Let's see here carefully. Let's see here carefully. Right. What are the relations of SCR? So see, generally, SCR is inversely proportional to per unit impedance. Nothing but SCR is inversely proportional to per unit reactance, synchronous impedance, synchronous reactance. Nothing but SCR is inversely proportional to per unit reactance of armature. Nothing but SCR is inversely proportional to per unit leakage reactance. Nothing but SCR is inversely proportional to per unit resistance because impedance nothing but all these things. This is a first relation. This is a first relation. Then what is the second relation when SCR is inversely proportional to XA or when SCR is inversely proportional to impedance? If impedance is more, voltage regulation also more. If armature reactance is more, 
voltage regulation also move so ultimately the scr is inversely proportional to voltage regulation scr is inversely proportional to voltage regulation and if xa is more nothing but armature reaction also more so the scr is inversely proportional to armature reaction scr is inversely proportional to armature reaction 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this 7 are important so this is the second relation scr inversely proportional to voltage regulation and inversely proportional to armature reaction but generally scr is directly proportional to stability scr is directly proportional to stability the scr may defines the stability so if scr is directly proportional to stability is nothing but scr is directly proportional to synchronizing power synchronizing power decides the stability synchronizing power measures the degree of stability i will give you about this latter so stability directly proportional to psy that's why scr is directly proportional to stability and i said you already stability directly proportional to air gap that's why air gap length is maximum in synchronous machine i said you right so tell me what is the answer here again the stability directly proportional to air gap that's why scr is directly proportional to air gap scr is directly proportional to air gap for example if air gap length is more what about size if air gap length is more stability more scr is also more what about size if air gap length is more it increase the size sr no it increases the size so the scr is directly proportional to size of the machine so scr is directly proportional to stability stability factor or synchronizing power and air gap and the size of the machine this is the next relation and the next and the next relation is and the next relation is i will give you about this generally the power p is equals to ev upon excess sin delta ev upon excess sin delta nothing but here the power is inversely proportional to excess and the power is directly proportional to delta power is directly proportional to delta power is inversely proportional to excess if the power is inversely proportional to excess and excess is inversely proportional to scr excess is inversely proportional to scr power is inversely proportional to excess what is the relation between scr and power scr is directly proportional to power this is we want scr is directly proportional to power scr is directly proportional to power and scr is directly proportional to power power is directly proportional to delta so scr is directly proportional to delta scr is directly proportional to delta this is next relation scr is directly proportional to delta and scr is directly proportional to power these are the some different relations on short circuit ratio which are very important they asked already air gap and the size and the stability and voltage regulation armature reaction everything they asked already in other competitive examinations so this is about scr short circuit ratio but the first most very important thing is you have to remember this one then you can get all the relations is it okay all right understood thank you